Railroad Preserver 2000 here, back again doing a quick disclaimer for my upcoming video in Roswell, Georgia. This disclaimer is going to be attacked onto the front of it. Um, if none of you guys who watch my videos and all like snakes, I would avoid the timestamp from about 17 minutes until about 20 minutes. Um, it's going to be posted right about to the right side of my head, so about here. And, uh, well, yeah, if you just, uh, if you don't want to see that part, uh, click that timestamp in the description and just skip it, okay? <laughs> anyway, other than that, just wanted to let y'all know, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. This here is an old textile mill that used to be here. I think it was built in 1882 and ended up shutting down in the 1970s. Um, keeping this recording brief, since there's really not a lot to see. Got some old machinery here, an old generator. It's amazing they salvaged all this. Compressor tank, that's for your air pressure. Dodge Timken drive shaft would have been connected to the generator. And here's all your flywheels right here. Single multi belt wheel. Air compressor, that must be what that is. I've seen a much larger version of that. And another electric motor, along with some bits of metal scraps. And that looks like it's leaching rust. Let's try iron one. Huh. Huh. Some kind of metal thing there, and I don't know what that is. Probably some sort of machinery, I'm sure. Some kind of bottle there. Or jar one. I think the other mill that's up at Further on the hill may have been the last one to operate. And then down here is the old stone pillars that would have held everything. And right here, I think, is the turbine that actually powered the mill here. Wow, look at that. I'm going to see if I can get down here and get a better picture of this. This sucker is impressive. Here's a better view of the mill ruins from the ground level. This is all that's left of the original 1880s mill that used to be here. All that's left now is really the stone pillars and I think the building that's up there is the later mill that closed in 1975. Yeah, these are the Stone Piers, 1882. Supported an elevated wood and water flume raceway that diverted water to the turbine. And I think that might actually be the case because you see it goes from there about level to the hill. And then right there it drops down and drops down suddenly. But then again, if that were a flume, why is it going here where it looks like the output level of the turbine is? That's curious to me, but here's what's left of the old turbine setup. You got the debris gates that would have kept stuff out of the actual turbine. And there, intact it mostly, is the turbine itself from 1882. Of course the cover's gone, probably been looted by scrappers. And then here's drive shafts and pulleys and whatnot that would have gone here. 
Now that thing is still amazing to look at. To think that one turbine could have driven an entire mill that was from around here all the way up to about the top of the hill. It's amazing. And I'm amazed that that still exists. Normally that stuff is uh, more or less scrapped. I'm amazed it didn't get destroyed during World War I and World War II's uh, respective scrap drives, but yet here it sits. It's probably because it was too much of a pain to dismantle, I guess. I don't know, but those, that's all cast iron. Maybe early, early steel. You can see early concrete right there beside it, just in front of the pulleys. And here was the river that fed all this. I'll try and walk down here in a minute if I can. And now here is the river, or rather the creek, or whatever you want to call it. There's some kind of foundation right there, probably for piping. You can see there's a deep pool here where the river bends. Trying to walk over. Alright then, there you are. This right here concerns me. I think that's just iron oxidizing bacteria as well as algae from it being standing water, but still the fact that there's all this trash right in here is appalling. I'm sure 10 to 15 years ago you would never see this. Got some of the rapids here. Got a sewer main or water main here beside the trail, which is then beside the river. You can see the rapids here. I'm also staying quiet and keeping my eyes peeled because apparently a visitor lost their phone here. Had a purple case. I was going to try and find it. So apologies if my footage is not the best. Anyway, they lost it somewhere in this general spot. I'm praying it didn't get into that because if it did, game over. Phone's gone or flooded out one. Have to look in these rock crags. 
That'd be one of the first places I'd look. Especially around here on the water. more of a trail right in here I'm not seeing it as much as I hate to say it I think that phone is long gone probably washed into all this as unfortunate as it is for me to say it, it's uh, it's gone. One thing I don't like seeing is all this trash because when it floods all this is going to get washed into here it's just going to make a big mess now we're upstream of these little rapids here yeah I'm looking I don't see that phone anywhere But I'm going to go back when I'm done filming and I'm going to look. Clearly nobody's walked this in a while. The trail's only getting thinner. I can see this sewer line snakes across the river. You can see it through the camera there. Apparently there was a dam up here for the mill. Now I don't know if they knocked that down or if uh, maybe this was it right here. There's a rock wall right there. Could explain all the rocks then. There was a dam, it was probably collapsed due to a lack of maintenance and whatnot, or they probably knocked it down, the city probably knocked it down due to it being a hazard. If people were already going down here back then. Alright. Gonna backtrack and I'll be ending the video here. See you later.
heading down river now past the old 1882 mill. I think the one directly above it on the hill is the one that replaced it later. The, the one that operated till the 70s. There's the view of the other side there in the mill. It's a nice view of the bridge here actually. Right there. I'm in the camera up so I can focus the color and get the lighting how I want it since the camera can automatically focus meaning when I pan down and snap the shutter as I'm about to do right now it provides me the perfect lighting there's still old bits of machinery and parts scattered all on the rocks here I saw an old gear shaft there and an old handle or something right in there I'd rec I would recommend archaeologists come out here and salvage all that and bring it ashore before it gets buried or destroyed basically excuse me I gotta thank two visitors of the park who are currently right beside me here for pointing this snake out to me in the middle of the creek. Thank y'all. He's got his head raised up. Oh yeah. Doesn't look like a rattlesnake. He doesn't have a rattle on him. But I treat all of them as if they're venomous. Oh, he's moving now. Now he's moving. A little bit. No, he's still there. He's probably going to come swim and come ashore. My friend has a, a, wa a false water cobra. And the other day it was fucking, his, his, hood, his hood was something. You know, like a king cobra, you know how their neck flares up? Yeah. And his cobra was doing that. Oh, he was showing his wheels on the floor. Yeah, bro, we got to I wouldn't do that if I were you. I just. I'd rather just. If I were y'all, I'd just leave that sucker be. Just observe. Exactly. That's. That's what I'm. That's something I always do as a photographer when it comes to photographing animals. I don't try to do anything to fake the photo. I let them do what they're gonna do. I just leave them be. This right here is one of three snakes I've now officially filmed and photographed yeah. out in the wild. I've never seen this before. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Yeah. He's First time I've ever filmed or photographed a snake not only out in the wild but after it's caught some of its prey so yeah my grandmother to my grandmother if you're watching this do not watch this please like don't <laughs> luckily as you can see I am here he is out there This here is a replica covered bridge the park had built in the early 2000s. It was finished in 2004. Apparently it was fabricated in Oregon. They had truck down here and here it sits. 
They have photos of its construction and overall design on the other side, which is where I'm going. First, another final aerial view of the uh, area in Rapids. That's a neat old mill. Yeah, if any of y'all bring kids to this park, I'd keep, stay with them because while I was out filming and photographing, I saw, thanks to some visitors, about three different snakes out here. And, um, for lack of a better term, I'd just stay keep any of them close to y'all because they're out in abundance right now due to it being so hot. All right, and up there, I believe, is the new mill. Now, as I was saying about the covered bridge, Here's all the stuff they got for it here. So there's where then, when they were bringing it in. Here's this old building as it appeared back then. So this was all done in 2004, September of 2004. In fact, September 22nd will make this thing I believe 19 years old it'll turn 20 the ne next year so that'll be interesting there's a better view of the bridge there's another view of the mill and then this mill structure here so I'll see you in a minute Yeah, I'm glad I walked down this way. Here's the remains of an old building, possibly an old store, perhaps. There seems to be some more older machinery right in here that I wanted to look at. There's also this terrace here. I don't know if this was built after the park was built or something else oh look at that look at this look at this look at this so this I believe is another turban that was kept oh wow look at this Look at this. Oh, wow. Turbine housing and all. Look at that. Oh, wow. So this just was abandoned, apparently. I'm not going to be photographing the plaques this time. I'd recommend you guys come out here and read them for yourself. But look at this. Wow. See, th this here is what I want to go to Birmingham to photograph. It's Lost Furnaces. This old, abandoned... Um, machinery and stuff. God, look at that. This. So I think this is actually what's left of an old hydro plant. Like a water turbine, because right up there is the penstock. I'm sorry about the uh, bars, but I can't help that. But 
God, look at this. Wow. And here's the old brickwork. Jeez, look at this. So I think this was once part of the old mill, the old mill dam and raceway. It makes sense because what's left of it further is on the other side and there's more machinery up there but it can't be accessed. Then here's what's left of the old turbine. God, that's amazing. Watson's Mill had a similar plant to this. It was very, very small. Oh, wow, I gotta get down there. Excuse me. So from here to here, this is the old mill raceway. You can see what's left of it here with all the old bricks and other, um, other debris. Excuse me. So here is uh, what's left of what I guess was the old intake for the mill. The dam, believe it or not, is still intact. I didn't even realize it was still here, but look at the size of this thing. If I were able to get closer and go stand by it for scale, I'd be dwarfed. Ac actually, I don't even need to. I'm already dwarfed. You can see what's left of the old machinery down there where it's fallen and collapsed over the years. God, imagine what that looked like running. Imagine what that looked like running. So, let's go to the dam. So there's my next target, the dam. So that right there is either the old penstock pipe for one of the older mills that was here that went from the dam that's right there. This is not it. This is just a uh, water line they put in. But look at the size of this sucker. Wow. Unbelievable. Look at that. Unbelievable. I don't think those people up here at the very top, I think that person up there is doing uh, something really smart, to be honest with you.
So all this is the quote-unquote new mill that was built in the late 20s. Um, it would have all been electrified, so nothing uh, in terms of water power would be left. Be curious if they left the old steam plant right there, but yeah, there's no real easy way to get a picture of the whole thing, but. I just figured I'd show it to you for a minute. I'm going to go inside and ask if I could photograph, but if not, well, you'll know. Presently, got done eating at the uh, Old Mill restaurant, which is right in that building there. Highly, highly recommend. It's pricey, but it's worth it. And I'm now going to be trying to photograph the main town of Roswell, which is right here, the whole town square. This here is town square was built in 1840. That's the plaque here that I'm zooming in on that I will include in the coming video whenever I get around to making it. <clears throat> but this is all so picturesque. Oh wow, look at this. This here is beautiful. I'm going to try to back up so my shadow isn't in the picture. Now I like that they got all the paths converging to this central fountain. And then there's a war memorial there. Yeah, but all this is the um, town square of um, Roswell. Now, I don't know if there's a railroad depot here. Um, the site I used to try and find the depots, it doesn't list Roswell as anything on the... Uh, <coughs> They don't list Roswell as a place that had one. But I know the place would have had rail service because there's an old textile mill here. Anyway, here's some of the main street. I'm going to have to step a little bit to the side to get the first row of buildings here. Actually, let me just walk through here real quick. You can see these trees have been here for a long, long time. I forget what kind of oaks these are, but they're not the ones you see on the coast, I don't think. And over there is a restaurant. I'm only including the sign so I can put a recommendation in for them in this video when it gets posted. I'll probably put it before everything else. Yeah, but here's a better view of the... Um, Town right here, part of it. Just gonna wait for the cars to get out of the way. I say that, and then the uh, traffic ain't moving yet. <laughs> oh well, it'll be fine. So that's one corner. I'm gonna walk over here to the other end of the square to show the rest. And now I want you to notice something. There isn't exactly a city hall or a courthouse. Normally, in a lot of the small towns I've visited, the courthouse is always in the town square somewhere, but here, I'm not, uh, I'm not seeing one. But then again, I could be wrong as to where it might be. But since there's time, I might ask my grandmother if we can ride around a bit just to see. And I'm sure Roswell probably had a depot at one point, but we're talking about something that may have been destroyed once Sherman came through here because he came through here during the Civil War and burned the uh, textile mills that were here. So if there was a depot and railroad, that he likely destroyed both to the, and they just must have never been rebuilt. But that's a guess on my part. That right there might be the courthouse because of the little clock tower 
that's only a guess on my part, but still. There's also a bit of FDR's legacy here. Um, Bullock Hall is what that legacy is. I'm actually going to come down here to photograph this better. You see here. Yeah, but here's the uh, rest of the town here. You're all right. <laughs>